Okay, Holly's Bakery. This is the uh, Not Smooth Cake, part number three. So as you've seen, I got all my layers iced. Two of them are stacked, and I have a ribbon around the bottom of the two. Now what I want to show you is I want to show you that I'm going to put this one, I have doll rods, and remember we went over this in the last one. So I have doll rods all around the edge and then in the middle, so that's going to support the weight of the cake so that all my filling and everything doesn't squish out and they don't sink down into the next cake. And all you really need are a few doll rods. You don't need any fancy things. They sell plastic ones if you like that. You can even use um, PVC pipe, the thin stuff if you like it. Um, next, I've used that many times. It is bigger and does take out bigger chunks of cake though when you do take it apart, so keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this little guy. I usually take an offset spatula to get up under there, especially if you iced your cake smooth. This one's not smooth, so if I make a fingerprint in it or something, it's not going to matter. But if I did ice the cake smooth, I would either use one or two offset spatulas Oops, see, because that stuff happens. And then I'm going to set it where my lines were, where I had marked the top earlier, as I showed you. And it's pretty straight. And because I can fix it a little now, I can actually push it. <laughs> that works. It's going to flowers all over it when I get to the place. So, I'm going to put it back on my turntable. Now it weighs about, I don't know, probably 60, 70 pounds. I don't know, maybe not that much. Feels like it. So I just stuck my finger in the side of it, and it's not cool. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull this, tuck a little icing in there, fix what I did. pull my ribbon back. I took some icing and I actually glued my ribbon. Then I take, this is a, a rag that's designated only for wiping my boards and stuff. So, just a little on the edge right there. Then I'm going to take, and I really should try to smooth this out before I put the ribbon on. It's kind of at this point almost impossible. So it is going to be what it is because they wanted it iced rough. They didn't want a smooth iced cake. So I find where I started my other ribbons because this is the back of my cake. This is not going to be the front of my cake here now because this is where my ribbons begin and they end. I have the shiny side, of, I'm using the shiny side of my ribbon and I'm going to put my ribbon I'm going to get it on there as straight as possible with the lumpy frosting. <laughs> I'm going to run my finger around And I'm pulling this ribbon kind of tight as I do this because I'm trying to smooth that frosting. As I go around. And then I'm going to cut it. how that looks so I'm going to recut because it's too much frosting there. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll wipe that off with a paper towel later. I know this is a crazy cake but this is something that anybody could do so if you're on a budget and you need to do a wedding cake, make three cakes, rough ice them, 
stack them like this and I mean look it's it's actually pretty cool just lean it a little so I'm gonna lean it back so that one's got quite a bit of filling in it and I want to fix that smooth my finger around it a little bit And not my favorite design, but I think this would be absolutely gorgeous if it had marzipan fruit all over it or like tons of Gerber daisies or something. Um, we're going to be putting, like I said, button mums. Hopefully they have a lot of them. <laughs> um, they want them to cascade down the side sort of. They drew me a picture and I have to follow their design. And I want to get my ribbon straight so you don't see so much that it's off there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bag, and I hope you can see this, and I twist the bag, and I'll show you right here on the table, and I'm going to do a purl. And I'm going to squeeze the bag, let loose on the pressure, pull back. Squeeze the bag, let loose on the pressure. Pull back, squeeze the bag, let loose on the pressure, pull back. You can make them longer. Or you can make them close together. It's up to you. So that's my pearl border. Well, it's not really a pearl border, but it's a, it's a little round drop tip border. So I'm going to start, I always start at the back of my cake where the seam is because that way when I meet up with them, I meet up at the seam and if they don't exactly go together, it's going to be the back of the cake. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go around. my cake and this is a tip number seven you could use any round tip I wanted something a little bit bigger because of this wavy pattern all over this cake. So I think it needed something that's going to be bigger up here. And if I had a more delicate cake, I would use a thinner of a border around the bottom. But this is kind of a chunky looking cake. And my ribbon is wide. air bubble. It happens sometimes you gotta scrape off the pearl and start again. So see where I ended here? It's a little nobody's gonna notice that though. But as you can see I have that around the bottom of my base and then I'm gonna go around each layer and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna hope that you'll be able to notice it with all these lumps on the icing. Because I really want to 
give it a little bit of a traditional look. I don't want it to be so on finished looking. I wanted to have a, a little bit of a more finished look. Because I really don't. I really like the more finished looking cakes. Oh, it's a little bit better. <laughs> crazy cake. I'm not sure about this one. Actually, I think it's going to be quite stunning once it gets out in the room and it's going to have the flowers all over it and spread around. And I'm going to actually bring the um, I'm going to actually bring the video camera. I think just so that I can take a picture of it when it's in the room, and you'll see the difference between sitting here making it and when you actually get them in the room and you get all the flowers on it and around it. The hard part now is actually getting it there without it falling over and um, I am also going to stick an additional doll rod in here um, and that's going to be my center support so that the cake doesn't, so that none of the layers move or slide off while I am driving. Some people don't use them because the frosting really does stick it quite well but I really don't like to take the chance with somebody's wedding. So there you have it. And then what I'm going to do is I have a dowel rod here. And again, I'm going to have my husband chop this off for me. Or I could do it. I usually would do it myself, but today he's home, so I will get the most out of him. I'm going to have him chop off the dowel rod just below the cake line. Then I'm going to sharpen this end with a knife. And then I'm going to pound it down with a hammer all the way through the center of my cake and I will smooth over the top um, and usually they have a cake top where they don't this time but it doesn't matter because we have this roughed up look on the cake and I'm going to go around and fix up some things that I don't like maybe fix a few of my little shells I did them in a hurry for you for the sake of the camera and that's it you have a wedding cake and anybody can do that um, you may not be able to pipe like um, my assistant Anna, but you could certainly do this <laughs> and make a beautiful, stunning wedding cake.
for any of your relatives. Um, I don't recommend making your own wedding cake because nobody has this kind of time the day of their wedding or the night before or two days before or even a week before. So, um, which this cake would keep in the refrigerator if you wanted it to up to a week as long as you didn't cut it because the frosting is going to seal in the moisture and you should be good. As a matter of fact, this cake here, because it doesn't have any color on it, could it be frozen, but it will sweat when it thaws out. So you will have little beads of water all over it, which would be okay on this cake. Um, so you could, you could make this up to a week or two ahead and freeze the thing. And then you could have your wedding cake if you wanted to make one yourself. But I would really suggest coming to Holly's Bakery and having me do it for you because nobody's cakes taste better than mine. Thank you very much for watching. Um, maybe I'll bring the video camera with me when I set it up at the reception. But um, you have been watching Holly from Holly's Bakery. And I just made a textured wedding cake. You guys have a great day. And I hope I will make some more videos and show you some more how-tos.